Hello everybody, and welcome. Welcome back, if you came back from the Monday stream. We certainly hope you did. We're here with the Collegiate Star League, and as before, again, if you're here on the Monday stream, I'm Squid, joined by Fatale. We've got two games lined up for you, so all the more Rocket League action. Obviously, everybody loves more Rocket League. We're in the round of 16, and Vitaly, are you ready to... Uh, I, I can't decide between saying Rumble or Rocket, and honestly, <laughs> it's kind of a dilemma. I mean... Um... I feel like Rumble would be a better option to pick just because of the right. two games we have tonight, you know? That's... But we're not playing Rumble. Uh, big no, we're... Yeah. All right. It's okay. Um, okay. But the game we have right now, it's going to be Ohio State, the second team, actually. Um, but their, their B team did make it to, I think it was top eight in CRL. And yes. they have not lost a game in the playoff bracket yet. They'll be, be up against Shawnee State, which is a team that I've played against way back in the day like yeah. less like months ago and this is the first time i've seen them in a while but uh, this should be a very good matchup especially with the the zero capability of ohio state and shawnee state being a good team as well yeah i mean lots of power on both sides of the ball per usual like i mentioned we're in the round of 16 so that's to be expected winner however will face off against the akron zips gold team so that's going to be a tough matchup, no matter what you bring out of this one, and whether it's a 3-0 or a 3-2. But, uh, I mean, I mean let's, let's see if we, can, if we can skip over the rest of the talk. We're ready to get into this game. Honestly, uh, I would make a prediction, but I haven't, I haven't seen too much of the OSU B team. I've heard good things, so I'm excited to see what happens. We'll just have to uh, find out. Things will pan out here over the course of the next uh, 45 minutes or so for this best of five I think we're about ready to get in this one player's in the game. We are just waiting on the kickoff to commence. There you go. Five minutes on the clock. Ohio will be represented in the orange. Shawnee State in the blue. Let's get this one underway. With the kickoff going in favor of the big Ohio State. But they are going to have to force a save right there. Another one really quickly right off the bat. Shawnee State. And uh, Vitaly, you said you played against them a little bit. Is this offense right off the bat what you're used to seeing out of them? Um, this offense is a little... It is what I'm used to seeing. They're really good at applying pressure and just like finding each other in the midfield. So that's kind of what I'm looking for this in this matchup uh, with Shawnee State. But we'll see if Ohio State can cut them off with the, with the passing plays and excellent defense we we've seen in the first minute. They have been keeping pace. Yes, indeed. Lots of tags on the Shawnee State side. Sloppy out of his own half. Monster's going to drive that one back upfield. This warrior looking for a redirect. Not necessarily a bad idea. They're going to force this one to stay in the orange half for a little bit longer. Here's Sunnyside with the boost and a great win right there. Option in the midfield. Beats out one. Sloppy can't get the shot on this. Scratch was waiting for it. Would have been a nice startup for OSUB. Moving downfield. An opportunity here for Scratch. Closed out by Sloppy. And of course, you mentioned that good defense. And it's coming out, but not enough. Monster's going to find a gap. Yeah, just a really good play here. Um, it was an unfortunate touch by, I think it was Mercedes um, in the midfield. It kind of put him back to his own net, and it just led to that. It was a good pass off the corner and just a good follow-up. And Shawnee State is an early 1-0 lead here in game number one. Luckily, as you mentioned, it is an early lead. Yes. There'll be plenty of time to react. No big deal. Or at least if they can get some offense, it'll be no big deal. But that one's not going to quite go through. It is for you with an easy possession. Around one more. Masseter's forcing this one to the corner. Might not be favorable for Ohio State. They are going to be able to push it to the midfield line, but only for just a second. Shawnee State trying to keep up the pressure as long as they can, it seems. Not necessarily putting too many shots on target, but here's an opportunity. This you can't put it on. Scratch for the follow. Off the back wall once again. It's completely open, and he puts that one away. A very good uh, job of just keeping possession and forcing Ohio State to... Like, I don't even know what the, where they were going. Like, that last player was just kind of diving the ball. And since he was last man back, he just gets beat to the ball. And Desfori has a wide open net to finish it off. And it's a 2 nothing lead. Yeah, very key beat there for Scratch coming across the center. That monster might actually get a freebie. No, it's going to be off the mark just a little bit. But a bit of a worrying situation there. When the Ohio State beats him. We've got an opportunity to push downfield right here. Sunny side out of the corner. Back pass to Masseter looking for a second touch. But it will be moving down across the midfield line once again. Monster for the speculative shot on net. It's off the backboard. He's got a teammate up, but Masseter is going to be there first. Quality defense once again. It has, it's broken twice already. But uh, maybe they're fixing it? It's possible, but 
the the things that I'm seeing is just Shawnee State cutting everything down at like their midfield. They're turning everything back and kind of forcing Ohio State into their own half. And again, just like I was saying, it was like the, it's that midfield pressure, and then and they're throwing balls off the backboard. And just, Ohio State has no idea what to do with it. Plenty of time for improvement, however. Still about half the game to go. Looks like they've been managing to push a little bit onto the blue half so far. Whoa, that pinch is very favorable. This four is going to be able to read it in time, but oh my goodness. I, I guess, uh, you know, you got to credit that 50-50. It was a nice shot nonetheless. They would very much have liked to have that one. Unfortunately, they couldn't keep it in the zone, though. And Shawnee State is trying to push great 50-50 from Sleppy. Will allow them to keep up the offense for just a second. Maybe a potential reset. Down in center, not going to be fast enough. Monster to the center, Massadurf to shoot back, and Monster can't make it. They finally get one back. Yeah, it was, a, it was an excellent bump here um, on the side of uh, Ohio State. Just getting, if, bumping that last man back, and Monster unable to recover in time. That shot, that clear went right to the midfield, and it, unfortunately, unless you have a teammate following that up, that should be a goal every time, because Ohio State Pat, will have a man in that midfield just blocking everything. It's going to be cut down to 2 1 with under half the game left. Under half the game is still plenty of time if you're only at a one goal deficit, so we'll see. They are starting off on the offense once again. So let me can't make it to that one. Good call there. Massador is going to try and keep this one moving. A great dunk, and he's going to be able to push it through. I like that tenacity. It was a great job of just keeping pressure, just keeping on that ball, not allowing Shiny State to have any like room to breathe. Just. If if he, they don't know what he's doing, he's gonna he's gonna capitalize every single time as he's just able to get that dunk and we're tied it too. A very good comeback from Ohio State here. Yeah, it looked like this for you. I thought he had a bit more time with that ball. He was sadly mistaken. And they'll have to regain the lead here. A great passing idea. Monsters unable to connect the dots. And we'll be moving back down the other way. 70 seconds on the clock in a tied game. This one off his own corner finds Monster. Bit of an awkward position, but they still have it. Looking towards the net with a minute remaining. Sleppy avoids the bump. Very nicely played on the defensive line. Ohio State not out of the woods yet. Midfield play could go either way at this point, but it looks like it's going to favor the OSU B team. That's a huge clear, though. A reset. No momentum, really, in either in either team's favor. Feels. This four is going to set one off the backboard, but nothing doing on that one. Nobody was quite ready for that one. They're starting to get their offensive rotation set up, but it looks like OSUB is playing for overtime. Yeah, Shawnee State, they look really comfortable on the offensive side of the ball as Monster goes for a redirect. And it, they look a lot more comfortable on offense than they do on defense. It's Ohio State's kind of, whenever they're on offense, they kind of crush Shawnee State, it just not allowing them any room to, room to breathe. But when Shawnee State's on offense, it's basically just throwing the ball around in, until you have an open shot and Ohio's, neither team can really deal with the other's offense right now but we're going to overtime it looks like in game number one and we are so we'll see what adjustments they can make for overtime overtime the best way to settle an argument i suppose in some situations at the very least in a best of five scenario it could do it scratchy Ooh, that was a bit dangerous you hate to see it come down to that one another close call their monster gets demoed out of the play Quality pass right here, Sunny sides up, off the crossbar, Slippy can't finish it, but it's still there! No, a clear away, Monster is going to be credited with that one, but it's, they're not out of the woods quite yet, Master can't get a quality touch there, Dysphoria to the midfield line. Very close call there for Shawnee State, OSU, oh, I wish they had that one back, Sunny side with a little bit more boost, could have put that on target. Yeah, for sure, the pass, the pass across to Sunny side was a very good play, and that, just going back to the first kickoff of overtime, that would have been awful if that ended that way, just going through all this game and then having that happen to you. But obviously we're still going. So Ohio State is trying to deal with this pressure that Shawnee is absolutely killing them with right now. Indeed they have. These last couple of seconds have been all for the blue team. It doesn't seem there's been a quality shot on, but that might present an opportunity. Sunnyside's going to have to be quick to that one scratch. Actually makes it there first. Off the backboard, Monster is playable, but beaten out. But the two defenders, good speed on the goal line. They have to be speedy there as well with that man lurking in the midfield. Very dangerous spot. Shawnee State will be able to keep this one at the midfield line. No dunk coming out there. Dysphoria will slow down the play. Sunnyside's going to have an easy pickup. Maybe looking for a solo play over top of one. Onto the backboard. No touch there from Dysphoria. Monster cutting it close on that play away. But does manage it. And Ohio State caught out 
This might be an opportunity. Master does get the read, though, and that was a bit of a dangerous play call. Yeah, it really was. It's just kind of allowing Monster to do to just get that solo play. If that was if that was on target, um, that was going to be a goal. Um, but if there was no one back. I'm not sure if there was just a miscommunication. Is it seemed like Sleppy was a little bit too far up, but it doesn't come back to haunt them now. But it could come come back to haunt them later. Is this ball? It's going to go in. It's scratch. Ends game number one in overtime. Sleppy being too late on that ball right there. Actually, I put it a little bit too far away from himself, but where was the rotation? I mean, that's that's really the story of this game. Is a couple of times, Johnny just seemed to have an open net and just put it straight through. We're a little bit speedier, and there was nobody back for Ohio State. So, question is, are they going to be able to patch up that defense for the next game? Because they had some quality offensive chances. There's no lie about that with good solo plays from Massador. I have to call him out on that one. They were, they were fantastic. Making use of your opponent's respect to really uh, draw the point home but they do end up losing it so i mean it's just, uh, meh? In, in conclusion meh uh, yeah the defensive rotations were not very good on the side of ohio state um they're really sloppy um is there was a lot of double commits in net as well even the saves that they did get was kind of just last ditch efforts as shawnee as shawnee just kind of uh, forced them to make a lot of touches that they didn't want to make um, on the side of on the defensive side, but on the offensive side, that was there was no question there. They're obviously a very offensively gifted team. Is um, Misader able to put uh, two for two shots in? But it, they can't be on the defensive side of the ball if um, they want to win. Because obviously, unless they fix that defensive rotation, um, they can't they can't deal with the Shawnee State pressure. From what I'm looking at. And honestly, I mean, for the Ohio State B team, I mean, I mean, their junior varsity team seems to really follow the same flow as their varsity team. They're an incredibly strong offensive force that sometimes stutters on defense. Uh, I think that about summarizes basically all of what we saw in the last match. So, I mean, like we mentioned, patching up that defense will do them wonders. I think we had two open net goals uh, in the end. So that would uh, be a definite uh, go-to fix uh, for their problem right now. But as you mentioned, incredibly aggressive on the offensive end. Uh, would like to see a couple more passes. Of course, there were attempts made, uh, but uh, both the goals, have, if I'm not mistaken, were mostly solo plays. So uh, we, we want to see a little bit more connection, but their overall aggression, definitely good. Keeping at the midfield line is definitely going to be a point for them as well. Uh, they won't have to patch up their defense if they're not playing it, as the saying does go. For Shawnee State... They gotta keep playing like they're playing. Honestly, uh, keeping the ball off their own defensive half might be a good idea. Their defense was pretty strong, I have to say. Yeah, their defense was really strong. Um, it was just, as you said, like a couple solo plays from um, Masseter. I think I think it's I, I think I've been butchering his name the whole time, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, but and that's gonna roll right in for scratch and another open net goal here. <laughs> maybe maybe. Uh, maybe turn on the stream, guys. I think that the point we're trying to make is that you're supposed to, like, improve your defense. That was not... Maybe maybe it's kind of like they're still trying to get the hang of it, you know? Maybe maybe they were trying to communicate, and they, they both communicated that we're going up, and they realized their mistake too late or something? I don't know. But either way, Shawnee State has an early goal, and Sleppy almost gets it right back. Unfortunately, he doesn't master for the cut-in. Actually gonna try and keep his one in play, but Scratch has a nice easy play off the side. And Ohio State aggressive on the uh, offensive line already. Um, so at least there's that. So I will have to give them that point there. They're, keep, they're picking up right where they left off. But Shawnee State, great dog there from Dysphoria. It's off the back wall. Sleppy is going to be able to inherit that one on the goal line and get it away. But so far, not necessarily the greatest start for Ohio State beat. No, not exactly. Um, especially in the... Uh, even the offensive side, like, they got one touch that went, like, right in front of the net, but it was right back into the defensive side. Miss there from Sleppy. It's going to allow Shawnee State to get another challenge. Um, but just the team plays are not there from, like, what we're seeing, or what we're used to seeing from Ohio State. It's all basically just throw the ball at the net and see what happens, which isn't going to favor them, I don't think, in this question. Some matchups, yes. This matchup, probably not. Shawnee State have been notoriously strong on both ends of the ball so far. Of course, having game one is a big hand up, and this one's going to cross right in front. Sunny side can't quite make the frame, though. He'll be touched away just for it with the transition downfield as well. Massager's going to pick up on that one off the ceiling, gets the read. It's towards the net, the crossbar down, the double. No! 
off the mark. How do you put that one off the mark? I mean, he got, I'm giving him points for somehow missing that one because I, that's so unfortunate. Sunny side up the wall couldn't put that one through. Very oh. unfortunate. But I like the tenacity. Again, like the tenacity. We saw it from Master in game number one, just didn't quite pay off this time around. Oh. Whew. That was a close one there, but I don't know how Master misses that double touch. He gets it past all the defense as an open net, and then somehow he pinches it off the ground out. And. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, though, I mean, think about it, though. It's like not to say that he necessarily played it poorly. It's just that, you know, it was the, the, the circumstance was just that he, he was unable to make the play on the ball, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. You got to deal with that one and move on. At least they know that they have a chance to get the ball in front of the net. Not exactly an unkillable Titan right here in Shawnee State. But as we pass the half, they do remain scoreless, trying to move out onto the offensive end right about now. Sunnyside with a right touch initially. Despoir will knock it all the way to the back wall, though. Out of the orange corner. Very quick playing up to that ball. So let people have an easy clear. Bit of a double commit from the Shawnee State lands. But Despoir is going to find Scratch with a pass. Master is there to cut it off. And a great cut off as well. Very much needed. If they connect with that pass, no telling how much damage could have been done. Oh, for sure. Um, and something that I'm kind of noticing um, on the Shawnee State side, as much as they have the, that offensive pressure, I've seen a lot of double commits on them just trying to challenge one ball and keep it in. It hasn't really led to anything um, on defense yet, but there it is. It's Sleppy ties the game at one. And I, uh, again, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's just it's Monster <laughs> going for boost there, and it just goes right into the open net. Honestly, Vitaly, the best play is always leave us asking ourselves that question. I don't know <laughs> what this is, right? <laughs> yep. I, won't, I, won't, I won't say that's a testament to that play being absolutely god tier, but it was okay. I mean, they, they made a passing play upfield, always a good thing to see. Uh, their defense uh, has been relatively improved this game. Uh, the, the initial goal obviously wasn't a, a strong point for them, but uh, where they did lack on that one improvement, they made up for in another with their offense making that passing play. Unpredictable stuff, but here's Dysphoria for the solo, can't put it away himself, and Sleppy is going to be able to toss it off to the side just in time. As they attempt to move downfield, great play on the 50 there from Master, ensuring the victory off the ceiling. Now it's to the backboard, great piece of purchase right there, but nobody's there to follow it up, unfortunately. Sunnyside playing defensive midfield, and I guess they did listen to my advice with uh, keeping that defense solid. Yeah, um, they did. They, it, uh, no one from Ohio State was really there to challenge that, which kind of let them get off the hook pretty easily. But it was a good job from Master to just kind of read that off the ceiling in a demo here. That was a good chance for Ohio State. A passing play to the middle! And Sleppy makes it 2-1. Quality. With a, with a cherry on top. Mwah. This is perfect. This is exactly what we need to see. Sunnyside with a great delivery out into the center of the top of the box. And there's Sleppy able to send it right on home. 40 seconds, they have the lead now. We're gonna take a game two victory and tie up this series at one and effectively turn it into a best of three, but we're not there yet. Shawnee State still has a hand in this one and a bit of an unfortunate double commit there. As Sleppy was taken out of the play by his own teammate. We'll open up the door for Shawnee State to start up an attack run. Maybe their final the whole game and a great clear from the sunny side is gonna slow that down significantly all the way to the back wall. Ohio State are looking at the scoring opportunity. Double commit on the back line and a great save from this warrior to close out Massador sunny side for the return. And it's off the post. How in the world did he manage to hit it off the post in that situation? Again, it looked like it was on target. This is that perfect accuracy to barely miss. That's yeah, unfortunate there as the shot goes on, but it's gonna be saved away. And that's game number two as Ohio State ties the series at one. You can honestly tell. I mean, Shawnee State, they were, they were, if the ball was in the orange half, but based on the play that Ohio State, uh, Ohio State B team made, the, the effort that they put into that offense, you could tell that Shawnee State weren't going to be able to, to really mount anything significant out of that, uh, considering the positioning of their players, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, they, they just made it work. The best uh, defense is a good offense, I suppose. Um, Something, something like that. I, I have no clue. Wise man once said, "Blah, I, I don't know. X, Y, Z, algebra. I don't do math. I'm a caster. I don't do math. And no, caster math is notoriously bad. <laughs> caster math is notoriously bad. Um, oh man. Unfortunately, just Shawnee kind of 
they let that let it get away from them in game number two. Um, they have that early lead, but unable to really have any offense, any more offense in game number two. So Ohio State kind of um, th those passing plays really beat Shawnee State, and that's kind of what I was saying earlier. Is we're used to seeing passing plays out of this Ohio State team, no matter what roster it is, um, and that's that's a thing that'll carve up any any defense that isn't ready for it. Carve them up like a pumpkin. As a wise man, definitely did not want to say. <laughs> but um, you mentioned that keeping Shawnee State locked on their own half has definitely been a boon for the Ohio State B team. We'll have to see if they can keep it up. Game number three, plenty underway as we pick up on the action once more. 45 seconds in about. We've seen a lot of the blue side of the field so far. But we've got a little bit of variety as we move down to the orange. Ohio State playing on the defense now. Clear from the Sleppy. Sunnyside's going to be up for it first and will be able to push this to the back wall. Nice surprising play there. Follow up will drop rather ineffectively. Both players playing for the 50. Another double whiff. We saw four whiffs in a row right there. I'm not exactly sure what the play call was on that second one. But it will remain in the blue side of the field. It's calculated whiffs. Oh, yes, my, my bad. I forgot. <laughs> I don't have my TI-84 on me today, and uh, it's hard, you know. I, I already told you that math is difficult, and I don't even have my calculator. That's, oh, that's, man. that's the situation I'm in right now. Oh, boy. We need to get you a calculator. Oh, great pass there. Text play. That, that was basically word for word, the exact same pass we saw from the last game. They weren't able to punch it straight home this time around. But again, a good philosophy to have for Ohio State. Johnny will get their opportunity right here about though as Scraps puts it over the top. It's back into the center. A bit of a double commit there. Just for a quality shot. Sunny side is not going to let it happen though. Monster a bit too close to the play and that one will be moving straight back to the blue wall. A great touch from Master to put it all the way down the field. Allow for a reset. They might still be playing defense here in a second. But the fact remains that they're going to have a plenty of boost to do just about anything. Scratch with a telltale whiff right about there. And unfortunately, they didn't walk away uh, with a scar from that one. Yeah, for sure. Um, just uh, just touching on like what you said earlier about the beautiful touch. It was a really good job uh, just making sure that Ohio State got out of their own half because it was a double commit on defense. Whew, good touch there. Um, but it was a double commit on defense, uh, and they didn't really have any boosts or anything left, and it was a good job to buy time. But Chinese State is coming back now. Well, they were coming <laughs> back, for, but not for long. <laughs> they were looking for the bump play, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I got I got fooled. I thought they were the bump play, but I was sorely mistaken. That was not the case. But as we approach the two minute mark, nobody has managed to get the ball across the opposing goal line. So the dynamic very much still up in the air at this point. Offense from both ends, uh, of course, leaning in favor of Ohio State in terms of possession. They actually get their first shot on on the board right there. Slightly with a good opportunity. Sunnyside can't quite slow down enough in time to make that frame. But they will keep this one moving. Chop is still set up. Slubby comes out of the corner. Disfoy are going to easily take over that one. But Sunnyside is not going to let him pass. 50-50 will favor Mazder. He's just barely there first. We're going to lay off for that one though. Shawnee State now moving downfield. Good transition idea. Passed out from Disfoy over to Monster. But not a power of the shot. I feel like Shawnee State, it's like you got, you got the good ideas, but it's not you're not going to be able to finish against Ohio State. They realize what the play is, and they're they're just going to close it down every time. It, it also doesn't help that there there's a, been a couple whiffs on the offensive and defensive side of the ball, and it, you want to to beat Ohio State, you got to make sure that you make contact with the ball. Is another miss there. Um, they're just. Uh, there's been a lot of offensive pressure on the side of Ohio State this game. It's just time until Ohio State breaks through and gets a goal here. And here's Sonny side finally with an open net. Are you serious? That's the way it is. I mean, I, I'm just listening to you talk, but I, I'm not even listening to what you're saying, right? I'm just watching that ball as it's like meandering around the goal line for the past like 30 seconds or so. Just kind of like, hey guys, am I going to go in? Am I not? I still don't know. I mean, why don't you do something? Then it finally goes in, and that was the way it ends. Are you serious? I just want to say I called it. Yeah. <laughs> well, usually uh, usually it's like a catcher's curse kind of thing, but I suppose we'll make an exception this time. Hey, you know what? If, if I'm the exception, that's all right with me. Uh, well, 
No, there, there will be no exception to the uh, whichever team leads wins rule in Rocket League. So Shawnee State's going to have to make a comeback right about now. Moving downfield here, Monster will back. That ball got a little bit away from him. Now a great passing play. They're going to get punished hard for that one. You got to keep that ball close to you. Otherwise, this is going to happen. Yeah, and I, again, another... It was something I touched on in game number two. Like the double commits out of Shawnee State. Even though they were trying... They were keeping possession and keeping pressure on Ohio State. They were double committing a lot. And I said that they didn't come back to haunt them. But those passing plays, if you double commit on those passing plays, um, you either double commit to where you think it's going and it goes horrendously wrong, they're going to have an open net to finish it off. And that's exactly what happened there. And that's game number three. In number three in the series lead now for Ohio State's B team. Good stuff indeed. And I mean, you touched base on it just a moment ago, but if you have only one person back when the passing play is developing in the midfield and nobody else is able to make a play on the ball, then you got yourself one bad situation <laughs> with extra bad. Because, I mean, one man cannot possibly predict all the options that you have at that point. I mean, the passer could, he could go for the 1v1 play or he could go for the pass across. And you have to cover one of one post or the other, not both of them. And in the end, it usually ends up in the back of the net. So a very unfortunate situation, but they did have to push downfield. I'll give them credit in that category there in the final seconds. The death throws, if you will. But Ohio State now with the lead in the game and the series with that kickoff goal. I'm not sure exactly what happened here. I think Dysphoria's controller died or something there. I'm, honestly, I'm really not sure. That ball just went straight in off the kickoff. And Ohio State grabs the early 1-0 lead. Very early. One second in. Okay. Well, uh, as I like to say, it's not necessarily the, the circumstance about how the goal went in. It's the fact that it did. Yeah. So, what are you going to do about it except for get one back? Although they were shut out in the last game, they're currently on a five plus minute drought right about now in terms of scoring. So Shawnee State are going to have to make some sort of change as they do manage to push down the field right here. Dysphoria out of the corner. One touch there from Scratch Monster will try and keep it in the zone. Left. Quick on that one, Master. Oh my goodness, Master was looking for that angle in the south and he almost found it. Yeah, that would have been an insane touch there from Master. But you touched on it earlier, Shawnee State didn't score all of game two and their first goal was about 30 seconds in sorry they didn't score all of game three and their first goal their uh one goal in game number two was about 30 seconds in so they're at about nine and a half minutes and ohio state grabs a two nothing lead here all right now um correct me if i'm wrong but so far three of the four passing plays so far out of the osu b team have been scored by sleppy the third, uh, with, with one of those four being scored by Master in the closing seconds of the last game. But he has been on fire with the positioning in the in the midfield for his team. I mean, he's been there every single time they need a striker. He is the man. And he's granted them this 2-0 uh, lead. Granted, that Sunnyside got first one, so I gotta give him credit right there. And he might get another one with that pass down in front. Monster will close the gap, but still, Ohio State looking to be on fire with their connected odds play. Yeah, absolutely. And as you touched on it, Sleppy um, was there uh, again, and he's been there for multiple passing plays. And uh, again, as I've probably touched on a couple times in this series already, is those patent and passing plays coming out from Ohio State. As I said, it doesn't matter what team it is. That is the staple of their program. Um, it's, it's just good positioning and just being there for teammates. Definitely paid dividends so far. Three minutes now left on the clock. And here's a free net from Masseter. No, he's going to get credit for that one. You thief, you. Masseter had that one every day of the week. Get back on. Stay in your lane, Sleppy. But either way, <laughs> Ohio State <laughs> with a three-goal lead now. With a very happenstance goal, I must say. <laughs> there was a bit of a triple commit out of all of Ohio State. But it was a really good, really good touchdown from Masseter. Um, just... Reading that one off the backboard and forcing Shawnee State into a three nothing hole, and with three minutes left, it's it's looking very very scary at this point. And number four goes in, and Ohio State is running away with game number four here. Very scary with signs of absolutely horrifying right about now for Shawnee State. This is not not looking good. And another passing play scored by Sleppy as a hat trick. Although I will say that one goal was stolen from Masseter. I'm not gonna let that one go. 
I hope you watch this back, and I hope you hear me say this. You are a bad person. That was his. He had a great angle and everything. He was right there. I despise that. Are you gonna start crying for him? No. <laughs> You're gonna start crying. <laughs> no. No. Come no. on. Come on. You can't no. do a man like that. Here you go. Shawnee Saint looking for a counter. Nope. Not not on the last. So there's watching those sucking side again. Solid defense still. We passed the half and they. They're still not letting one in. Okay, I, I almost had to bite my tongue right about there. What Fair. can they do at this point? What do you do besides panic if you're trying to stay in the situation? Um, throw, throw everything at the net and demo the goalie. There you go. And there you go. Solution, you the solution found. There you go. <laughs> throw everything at the net. This monster actually gets a really good redirect here. Sunnyside just unable to get up in time, and it's going to be a 4 1 lead. And Sunnyside has some signs of life here. 71. Glistening, I don't know what to say. Attractive <laughs> miles per hour, and oh my goodness, he can't let Sleppy have that. He scores his fourth of the game, and Ohio State's gonna retaliate rather quickly, shutting down and yields. Great dunk from Sunnyside to get that one started, but Monster, uh, that, that's uh, a little bit too much on the power slide. He's yeah, also a break. <laughs> like, this isn't He's... Tokyo Drift, unfortunately. It isn't? Oh hey, kickoff goal, there you oh. go. There we go. He gets it right back. Redemption for Monster. He makes up for the mistake with a kickoff goal here. I, I don't know if that was just... That was weird. I... Just let it happen. Okay. Okay. I'm letting it happen. <laughs> letting it happen. Okay? I'm letting it happen. Maybe, maybe if we intentionally cast this curse, this Johnny State can come back. So I'm going to call it right now. Ohio State's taking game number three. Or four. This is game number four. Uh, Caster map now. strikes again. Man. <laughs> That's, I can't even count right. Dang, it's really bad. You know you need to calculate when you can't even count the four right. That's, oh, a, that's oh, a F in the chat, please. Oh my goodness. Here, oh, what a oh. bump! Slippy didn't get the touch, though. I don't think he intended for that bump, regardless. Uh, it was a good bump, and that's what's going to move out in front of Ohio State. Now with a four-goal lead, Masters going to be responsible. Gets his first goal of the game. Credit to... Uh, thank Thanks to Sleppy, as his uh, first goal of the game. I'm still salty about that. You thought I forgot, didn't you? <laughs> uh -uh. Squids never forget. <laughs> or is it? Or is it tigers? I don't know. It's it's elephants, I'm pretty sure. Elephants. Nah, 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 you're wrong. Nah, I can't possibly. No. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> nope, you're wrong. You're wrong. It's squids. Um, but Ohio State. With a four, no a four goal lead, sorry, not a four nothing lead. Wow, I can't even count either. Caster man, <laughs> it's, it's right. not. Look, it's not just casters, dude. It's, if you're in the booth, it affects you. That's just I, the way it is. Yeah, it's just it's unfortunate. Um, but as I'm I was good. saying, Ohio State having a four goal lead here, um, and they're looking like they're gonna wrap up this series uh, three games to one, unless Shawnee State can pull it a miracle, which. Um, it's not looking- well, never mind. Um, Scratch puts in a goal and it's 6-3! Every time we're about ready to call it, Shawnee State gets like the one goal that kind of puts them in the realm of possibility. But I- I don't think- I'm not giving this one any credit. I feel like OSU's gonna be able to shut this one out. Um, unless something uh, crazy happens, as you mentioned. I, I feel like they might have to happen to be a little bit short on Miracles at the time. Uh, but, uh, we'll just have to see if they move forward. I'm gonna look a little bit forward in the bracket at this point, uh, assuming the Ohio, Ohio State beat win right here. They're gonna have to face off against the Akron Zips in the quarterfinals. Mind you, that's the Akron Zips gold team, the very same Akron Zips that made it to uh, the CRL Season uh, 1 land. Well, or, sorry, Season 2 land. They didn't make the Season 1 land, there was no land for Season 1. So, uh, yeah, that, that would be a very impressive beat indeed. But they made it to CRL Season 2 land, obviously. Everyone saw them compete on the big stage, so it's gonna be a, a tough battle. One that their, their varsity team couldn't even take on. So difficult stuff looking forward now. Yeah, and it's it's gonna be a rematch of um, the matchup in CRL, actually, between uh, Ohio State B and Akron. And they just qualified for the um, CRL Spring uh, land as well. So obviously they're still showing that they are the best in the North Conference and Ohio State will look to take them down in the next series as the ball will 
whenever the hit ball hits the ground, it does, and Ohio State takes the series in four games. There you go. That's the end of that. Some great improvement from Ohio State, as we mentioned. Uh, Shawnee, they started out strong this series, but there's there's no getting around that. They, they look pretty. They look pretty hot. I mean. Things were good for them. They had they had pl plenty of good offense. They had plenty of good defense. But Ohio State, in the end, was able to make the adaptations and overpower, which is also something characteristic of the varsity team. They uh, they have all that tenacity. They're able to make comebacks uh, like like so. Uh, I would argue even greater comebacks at most of the time. But I mean, losing one game. Regardless, that's going to be the end of that series. So, um, Shawnee State out of it now. Uh, strong showing. I won't lie. But uh, that's just the way that it ends. Yeah, but unfortunate, um, Shawnee State did come out in the first game, um, and they put on a strong showing, but Ohio State just taking that one game to adapt and really killing Shawnee in the next two, three games. Um, but now we look ahead to our next series, which will be... Yeah, let's take a look at that. In a little bit. I'm not sure when that is, actually. Um, it's soon, um, but it'll be... Soon TM. Soon TM. Um... In the next five five minutes, um, it'll be and I you're saying, yes. At least. Um, it'll be Northeastern University, their B team, another B team we're seeing tonight, and Stockton University. Um, now, uh, that's gonna be a good game, <laughs> I think. I think yeah, personally, definitely is. Uh, if if any, then they have been the, around the NEU B team, then you know. You know a little bit about who they are, so uh, I mean that's just going to be behind a short break, though. So as you mentioned, NUB versus Stockton coming up here on the Collegiate Star League. Make sure you don't go anywhere. We got more great matches right around the break. Stopped me from dreaming Didn't get far But I'm still hanging on to the feeling For a moment I was special But I should have known better than to fall in love I've still got questions 
<laughs> Alright, okay, I I'm being told, I'm being told that we're back by the voice of my ear. Big shout out to the voice of my ear, I think he has a name, but it slips me at the moment. I, I think it's, uh, Crescentia? Is, is that, that, that's how you pronounce it, right? I just want to give a shout out real quick to the man behind the scenes. He has, he has been running the CSL streams for the Rocket League stream for some time now, so he, he's been the voice in the ear, he's been a great help, but we're back. Uh, I'm sure you guys don't necessarily want to hear about that, although you should. He puts in a lot of work for you people. SMH. SMH, my head. We're here. We have Northeastern University's B team facing off against Stockton again in the round of 16. I'm Squid, joined by Vitaly. Once again, uh, if somehow you managed to forget our faces and names, we're forgettable people, I suppose. <laughs> I am, but... I mean, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. <laughs> yes. It is whatever. You um, said this was going to be an exciting matchup, so you clearly you clearly know what's going on here. Go okay, on, Vitaly, so I now. I know people on both sides of the team. So I know Maple Syrup, who's on the side of Stockton. I used to be on a team with him, actually. Oh, that must have been horrible. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on, was I, I was on Hot Mike? I'm sorry. I... <laughs> no, no. Maple Syrup, um, he's a stand-up guy. I've I, I, I played with him before as well. Um... <laughs> And he came on stream last week, and they won against UNCC, who we still can't beat. Um, I, uh, yeah. uh, um, and they're going up against Northeastern University, um, their B team against uh, Ollie or Synthex, uh, Peebs, and Psy Guy. Um, these are three guys that I know pretty well. So hopefully this is going to be a fun matchup. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully, indeed. Uh, Monday we did have a sweep. We had a three-one just the last match, so maybe it's a uh, maybe it's a uh, maybe it's a sign we're gonna move up to a three-two this series. Maybe I honestly have no clue. But without further ado, let's let's figure it out, shall we? We got NU's B team in the orange. We got Stockton University in the blue. Let nothing stand between these teams any longer. The game is underway. Five minutes on the clock, per usual. Rocket League regulation is now happening, and we're starting off with a double cover from the Stockton lads. Fortunately for them, it's not anything to punish. Orange off his own back wall, does get it past Peeps. Side guy, off on the side, Large gonna take over, break 50-50 from Syntax, cutting that one. No clear front runner yet, as we're playing a bit of ping pong back into every corner. Difficult to tell, just off the bat, who's gonna be uh, taking the lead in this one, to be honest. Oh! Well! I think Large knows exactly who's taking it. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Um, but Stockton just comes out. All Ollie gets a really. Uh, uh, it was an interesting touch there. It was uh, dunked by Large, though. Uh, so Stockton takes the early 1 nothing lead here in game number one. 
and NEU on their back foot very early in this series. I think there's. Was... I was just looking at it for a second. I think there's a bit of team bump there between Synthex and Psy Guy. They both got sent to the moon and back. <laughs> But uh, nothing coming of it. Here's Psy Guy now, looking for the back wall. Maple Syrup has an easier read on it. On corner wall, no boost to work with. Pass over to Dark. But they will lose control momentarily. Synthex to the back wall. Psy Guy for the center, actually going to speculate with a shot. No luck in that one. Pass Dark for the transition upfield. It's large over to Maple Syrup and an excellent play. One, two, three to the net. Yeah, a really good job there. Um, large with a really good pass down. Peebs actually gets a touch on this. But Maple Syrup was right there because he knows exactly where Peeves is going with that ball. And it's going to be 2-0 lead for Stockton um, fairly early in this game still. So there's still a lot of time um, for any of you to come back. But it, is a very, it seems very good on the side of Stockton so far. It does indeed. A quality shot from Sly Guy this moment ago. But they will not be able to push it through. A minute and a half gone now. Stockton remains on the offensive end after their last couple of goals. Here's Large for the cross. Maple Syrup not quite close enough, but he will win the challenge. Into the corner. Central second touch right about now. Puts it into center. Dirk not close enough to that ball. Side guy's going to be able to close the gap and send it to the back wall. They lose possession once again. And it does honestly seem to be one of NUB's weaker points. Here's Peeves because he have an option. Actually got bumped by the other player. I believe that was Large actually bumped it back towards his own net and he almost had a chance. Yeah, uh, Large just lands on him. I, I don't think he sees where Peebs is. He just unfortunately lands on him. Ollie doesn't get a touch on it when he needs to. And uh, it was just a free ball after uh, after Peebs gets bumped. And it's a 3 nothing Stockton lead. Not favorable for any UB, but nothing that they can't come back from. Not quite crippled yet. Here with three minutes left. <clears throat> Bit of an awkward situation here in the blue corner. Great pinch. There's Maple Syrup. Can you get the read? Oh my goodness, the redirect almost. Not quite. Plenty of speed on that ball as it came down the field. But here's NUB for the counter push. Straight to the back wall. Nobody quite there to follow it up. And it felt like they just kind of let it happen. And this is a common theme I've been noticing from NU. They kind of seem to give up the ball to the opponents when they move it down the field. Trying to get a bunch of ground and realizing that they've lost possession because they don't have any close to it. Uh, yeah, I feel like they're what they're doing is kind of... They're buy, they're trying to buy time, but it's really not helping them in the long run. Is sure they get some short-term relief. But they're really not hitting it to any teammates as... There's a case in point example right there. Is it's clear does not go where it needs to go, and Large is there for the capitalization. It's Ollie with a bit of a backflip, but still a 4 0 lead on the side of Stock. Yeah, as you mentioned, passing your teammates is very important. Especially on your own back wall. You, when you're on your own back wall, you want to make that play, obviously. It's set it towards somebody who, you know, preferably isn't going to try and put it across your goal line right there. He was trying to get it to Synthex. Ended up a little bit closer to large than he wanted to, and they got burned for it. Just the way that it happens. Bit of a double demo right there. The midfield line will slow down the play in favor of Stockton. Large can't get that one around the last man, but under two minutes remain now with a four-goal deficit. And I feel like any UB might want to be looking forward to game number two. They only got four shots on in comparison to the eight that their opponents have brought to the table so far with plenty of goals to boot. So uh, definitely not a favorable situation. Uh, but nothing, as I mentioned, that will necessarily, uh, you know, ruin their hopes for the next couple of games. Oh, no, it's definitely something they can come back. I mean, Ohio State, they lost game number one, of course, in a closer fashion than what NEU is losing to right now. But they still made the adjustments and came back. And they might lose this game as Dark puts another one in. But if they make the adjustments heading into game number two, they can come back and definitely make a statement in the series, 100%. It can, but it's going to be a journey. Again, only four shots in favor and plenty against. I'm looking at nine now for Stockton. Four saves on either side of the ball. But 70 seconds remain, and a 5-0 deficit probably going to be the end of game number one at this point. NUB could use a momentum goal right about now. Uh, we've seen plenty of situations where that does help in the end. Large not going to get an extra one there for Stockton. Dark for the follow. No luck, but the final minute of gameplay now. Have to see. And something that I'm noticing, um, I kind of touched on it a little bit earlier. 
any use just kind of throwing the ball away. It seems like they're just kind of giving it away to their teammates just to get a big hit downfield as that's a redirect and Turk puts a sixth one in for Stockton and a really good passing play here. It unfortunately goes right over, off of Syntax, but Dark is right there to finish it off. But kind of to finish on what I was saying, he's, uh, any of you is just kind of throwing the ball away and they're giving Stockton just extra possessions. They're kind of saying, you know, here you go. Um, enjoy the ball again. And it's leading to a lot of off uh, offensive opportunities. Yeah, and to, to really add on to that point, one, one thing we saw in, the, in that last goal actually was a uh, and one thing I've been noticing throughout the game, I, I just couldn't quite put the put the nail on it. Is I'm really noticing that any of you, not a lot of respect for their opponents. Sometimes you see you see opponents in the air uh, trying to make plays downfield and with that redirect as well. They're just not giving enough respect to the potential of their opponents to make a play with the ball. And that's really been biting them a couple of times. That might lead in to what you were saying earlier. Not giving respect to your opponents means that you blast it downfield, you lose possession of the ball because you're not expecting them to be able to make a play with it. So that's something you're, you're going to have to face the harsh reality and realize that Stockton are indeed a confident team. And I, I think they've more than proved it here uh, as game one is about to close out with the 7-0 scoreline. That's pretty solid, I have to say, uh, for at least a game one. But, uh, I, I mean, the bright side for UB, uh, the bright side isn't very bright, but uh, it's only game one. So there's plenty of room for change, as we mentioned. And we'll have to see if they can indeed do that. It would be a, a massive change of pace I'll say yeah um it was definitely a rough first game for any of you um they're coming out here they're trying to um make a statement early and it was just unfortunate that they couldn't get off on the right foot it was a early goal early dunk from uh uh large I'm pretty sure it was very early yeah. in and they were really unable to get any any pressure after that, um, as you can see on the side of Stockton, they had, what, 12 shots? Yeah, just... A large number. <laughs> yes. Ha, 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 ha. Oh. No, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> how, how am I supposed to... My goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was, I did, it was not intentional, I promise. I promise, oh my goodness. Mm. Let's just forget about that and move into game two where Stockton actually almost did have an opening goal there. Didn't happen, but you know, it's always, it's always good to try if you're on the blue side of the ball. Let's pick up on the action, shall we? Any of you are going to have to make a sizable dynamic change right here to take the lead of the series. Oh, there you go. Quality shot placement from the Synthex. I love to see this. What a great shot here. Um, it was just an unfortunate touch. A uh, mistouch, sorry, for Maple Syrup. Both of his, the defenders are expecting Maple to get a touch there, and Ollie just slots it right off the crossbar and in. Um, a very good turnaround for NAU, just getting that first goal. Maybe that, that leads to something here in the second game. Indeed it might. Another quality shot there. Oh, Sai Guy almost gets a dunk as well. It's going to stay out. Peebs is fast to that ball. Not quite fast enough. Syntex doesn't quite have the read there. Like I'll keep it down in the corner. Still plenty of opportunity here for NEU. And one thing we should mention, they were shut out in game number one, a 7-0 scoreline, and they're already pushing pretty hard on the offense here. This is massive. Like, this is not at all what I was expecting to happen. Yeah, they're very quickly turning what that 7-0 into putting Stockton on their back heels very quickly. They're challenging very quickly and taking a lot of the boost. So Stockton really doesn't have a lot of time to think as well with the lack of boost and the fast challenges and it's a very good turnaround good shot there from large but apparently the improvement it comes on the defensive side as well as peeps puts another one away three saves already for him when well, they seem to have a four or five all game long in game number one but here we go minute and a half in they're on the offense once again here's Sagai off the back wall pass maple syrup down into center syntax nowhere to be found though a lot of respect for their opponents, but maybe a little bit too much in that scenario. It was, it was a good offensive opportunity, but it just kind of seemed to be thrown away. It's possible that uh, Synthos just didn't have any boost, um, which is unfortunate. It's something you need to go and take that shot, but I'm really liking the pressure out of NEU. They're doing a lot of quick challenges, and 
I'm liking that Synthex is the one to really hold this team together as he's getting a lot of quick challenges and getting a good shots on. Woo! Good save there from Psyguy. And another one right there as Maple Syrup will put a second one on target. No such luck though. And as you mentioned, quick challenges are really the name of the game for any of you right about now. We talk about how speed can be such an important part of the game. And they are certainly getting their challenges early. Here's Synthex. Great dunk right there into the corner. No boost in the tank. What will have to be dropped off on the side by large. Picks up the opposing corner. Boost. It's crossed into the center right there. Dark is going to have to force it into the corner. Still plenty playable for Northeastern. Synthex waiting at the midfield line. Couple of options off for the net. Peeves doesn't have to make a dunk attempt. It feels like a little bit of a breakdown here for Stockton. Yeah, Large just kind of throws it into the middle again. And as I said in the last series, you kind of throw that ball into the middle of the middle of your pitch. That's going to turn into a goal more often than not. As Syntax is just waiting there and shoots it right past Large and into the open net. And it's a two nothing lead for any year. It almost feels like Stockton may have gotten complacent with the position they were at the end of the last game with that 7-0 lead. And now, oh, they were looking at a three deficit before Dark was able to look it in the eyes and say, no, thank you. They're moving down the other way now. We'll have to see if they can mount a bit of a comeback here in the final minute and 50. Large out of his own corner. Maple Syrup forces that one up high. Saga's going to be on it. Nothing towards the net yet. Large for control free bump as well. Peeves arcs that one towards the net and it's off the post in a way. Dark is able to touch it off to the side. Clutch defense right there. Bouts. They could definitely, uh, they're definitely not looking for a third goal against, but that was a bit of an awkward team play right there. Miscommunication. Maple Syrup got bumped out of the play by his teammate. And now they're on the back foot again. Yeah, it was, it was a good clear out of the way, but Dark kind of bumped Maple because uh, Maple had an open shot, I'm pretty sure. And Dark just kind of said, nope, that's my ball now. And. It, it wasted an offensive opportunity on the side of Stockton, and they were right back where they started. Sai has an open shot, and he's going to bury it. It's 3-0 NEU. This ball has spent so much time just sitting un unchallenged here. In the blue half, Large got a little bit bumped, and the man on the back wall there, Dark, was unable to make any contact with it. But think about how long that was, and that makes so much time for NEU just to kind of casually just roll up. Take a shot in the upper 90 and put it away. Now the final minute of gameplay. And we went from a 7-0 deficit for any used B team with a loss to a 3-0 advantage in game number two with 45 seconds left. This is not what I was expecting in the slightest. What happened to Stockton? What, do you, what did you guys do? Sure, any UB made a lot of adjustments. I'm not going to lie, but it doesn't look like they're playing the same kind of game that they were playing game number one either. I think they got complacent in kind of what you said in the first game. They thought, oh, we can just start out here and um, they're just going to play the same. They're just going to roll over and die. And that's obviously not what any is doing here. They, like, as I said earlier, they're challenging a lot quicker and really not allowing Stockton to have any time with the ball, any time to think, really. It's just any touch is a dangerous touch on the side of NEU. It does seem that way. They'll plant another one. Cross the goal line there with Peebs. Leading the way. That's a goal for Peeves. Two assists, three saves as well. He's doing a lot of work, but everybody is. Two goals and assists and two saves for Syntex as well. Psy guy not be left out. Rounds out the roster with a goal and assist, two saves as well. Seven shots amongst the three of them. Eight for Stockton, but it did not feel like it. I'll tell you that much from free as we hit zero seconds. Four to zero in favor of Northeastern University's B team. And this is a... This is something special, I'll have to say. This is something to keep your eye on because it's not often that we see this kind of change within a series, uh, not even in, in multiple games in a series, but we got it in one. It's an 11-goal differential from what happened in the last game. 7-0 to Stockton, followed by 4-0 for NEU. And it's looking like whoever scores the first goal is just going to shut out the other team at this point. Um... Uh, NEU making great work of their uh, their shooting accuracy there. Four out of seven shots going in. And again, I really like the pressure out of NEU in that game. Really not allowing Stockton to breathe. But we'll see if Stockton can make some changes. Trying to bait NEU out a little bit maybe and see what they can do. Because if NEU keeps this up and Stockton doesn't make any changes, it's not looking great for Stockton. 
Not looking great, but that's what we said about any Yubu app. So, things happen. Game yeah. number three underway right now. And there's a pass, great pass over to Large and Stockton with the lead. Good stuff. A really good pass here from Dark. He didn't really have a whole lot of boost, but he just puts it in the middle. And Peeves, just kind of on that goal line, unable to really get up in time. Um, to get up, to get that, he, sh he had to pre-jump. And uh, he, he didn't. And he was on the ground. And Stockton just finds that early 1-0 lead. <sighs> Bob sees the pattern sticks true. Can Northeastern put a goal on right here and break the pattern of shutout for whoever scores? Or is it going to be a, another well, shutout for Stockton? Find out next time on Rocket League Z. I don't know. Rocket, Rocket League, League Z. Interesting name. Rocket League Z. That's that's the new name. Uh, that, that's uh, Rocket League 2's new title, by the way. Unofficial. Rocket League Z. Oh. I didn't get the announcement about that one. Yeah, nobody did. Oh. It's classified information that I got from a classified source. Also known as a dream that I had one night. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Eddie Hughes on the defensive side. Things look at dangerous there for a second on Rocket League Z, but not gonna, not gonna end up in a goal for Stockton. Dropping into their own corner. Dark gonna pick that one up. Touch from Simtex out in the center. This could be very favorable. Peas with a quality shot, but it's a little bit too low. And Large is gonna be able to touch it off the goal line. Simtex doesn't get that dunk there. Very risky play, and Large still low away the goal from Dark. Or uh, I suppose secures it as you as one would. But now Dark with two assists and Large with two goals. They're looking good. Yeah, they are looking good. Um, something that any of you did in the second game is just beat their uh, beat their man to the ball, and even if they were last back, they always just, they did beat their guy to the ball. And there, unfortunately, just wasn't fast enough, and uh, it left left an open net. So if if they can get those challenges back down and do what they need to do, then obviously. Things are going to turn around for them, but it's not looking too good right now on the side of NEU. Didn't look good, so good after game one either. I think that's going to be the story of this whole series, is uh, never count either of these teams out. And I think what, what we're going to be looking at right about here. Three minutes on the clock. More than enough time to score two goals or four goals or seven goals. Or any amount of goals, to be fair. Zero goals. I suppose yeah. a lot of times scored zero goals. That is true. Quality chance right about here. Boost the tank for peeps though, unable to get it past Dark. Syntex is forced to retreat here. Side guy on the back line, waiting for this touch from Dark. We'll drop it off in the corner. Up high and pass the half. Get to serve a little bit faked out right about there. Side guy to Syntex. No contacts made. That whiff could have, I mean, the touch there could have been so useful. It's unfortunate that he whiffed it on that one. You gotta think to yourself if you're Northeastern, maybe, maybe they're trying to play a little bit faster than they're comfortable with, and which could have forced that whiff. Yeah, it's possible. They're trying to just, they're doing things, as you said, a little bit too fast. Woo, his dark almost finishes that one off and Synthetch gets the save, but they might be trying to do things at too fast of a pace than what they're comfortable with and it's causing them to make a lot more mistakes. It's, that sort of play is sustainable for one or two games, but eventually you're going to start breaking down and missing things. And unfortunately, it's not looking like they're getting the touches that they need to right now. <clears throat> There's a reason why teams don't play at the, uh, their top speed all the time. And as you mentioned, it's because usually you, you start with them after a while. Maybe, maybe it's just a classic case of, you know, they're not able to keep pace for that long without, you know, having their gameplay break down fundamentally. Last 80 seconds right here. Uh, not looking so hot. Plenty of offense for Stockton. Not so much for Northeastern. They will get an extra shot right there, but nothing really threatening. An easy clear for Dark. Seven shots favoring Stockton. And an awkward situation in front of the net right there. Three. And then you... Under any use name, Dark's gonna get one right there. Maple Serve doesn't have to do anything, and that might be the closer. Yeah, um, something that I'm noticing that uh, Stockton did a really good adjustment on is they're keeping very far back for the uh, the long balls that NU is doing. A lot of what they were doing, what NU was doing, was just clearing the ball far, and it was basically dump and chase. That's basically a hockey tactic where you just you you dump it down the field and 
chase the ball and try to steal your opponent, the opponent's boost to steal the ball back. And it was working, but as soon as Stockton ma makes a change, um, which they did, you, you got to find another way to, to break in. And NEU's got to do that from game three to game four here. Well, we've seen crazier. Um in this very series, we've seen crazier. So definitely nothing to count out quite yet. But it looks like game three will be going to Stockton. The series advantage. And they'll be moving on to match points. So dangerous waters now for Northeastern University. But, you know, it, it all it got five minutes. Destiny's in your own hands. What are they going to do with it is the question. I guess uh, we, we should uh, we should note. Um, obviously, at, after the fact, we'll take a look at the bracket. But, you know, this is only round of 16. So you, you're definitely going to have to show up, show everyone that you, you got that will. That's nasty. Obviously, uh, I, I talk about it basically all night long, but being tenacious is really the key. And they were they, they showed that in game two. They were able to bring it back regardless of the uh, complete shutout from game number one. They were able to bring it back and say, hey, we, we still got a hand in this. Um, we'll have to see if they can just do that moving into game four. That's a real big question mark for me. Yeah, it is a huge question mark out of, I, I think, me as well. Um... And he obviously makes those adjustments going into game number game number two, but Stockton makes changes to game number to, into game number three. So let's see what any brings to the table here. See if it's all out aggression again, what they did in game number two, or try to play a passive and let Stockton make their mistakes and just capitalize. Well, all will be told in the crystal ball of game number. four. I'm not saying a crystal ball. More like a 27-inch monitor, but, you know, basically the same thing. <laughs> Modern era technology, indistinguishable from magic. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. We're underway in a quality chance there. Psy guy going to open the floodgates. The first shot of the game. Favors any use B team. They're looking for more. Good demo idea. Maple Surf will be there to close the gap of dark. 50-50. Back over to Psy guy. Going to see if he can follow this one up. Takes a large... Easy save for Peeves. He's got to pick it up and move it downfield. I'm liking that they're trying to keep listening to that ball with the moot there. Syntex keeping it close over to Saigai. Another demo on the back line, but nothing doing quite yet. Good ideas from Northeastern, but nothing that's been able to break through so far. As Maple Surf will take a shot towards the net. A bit of a scramble as two men up for that one. Ooh, it's a good pass down the field, but unfortunately, Syntex ran out of boost. Um, but yeah, I'm really... And there's the defensive breakdown on the side of NU, but they were doing a good job before that. Um, just Peeves get a, gets an unfortunate touch, and Sagai tries to go for boost at the time that Peeves tries to pass the ball, and it, there's an open net right for large, and he takes advantage. And you can tell that NU had that completely under control there, and this, hear me out on this one. NU had that under control, you could tell Sagai was going for the boost, Peeves had the touch on the ball, and you could tell just by looking at that play that there was a lot looking into that, where they were like, okay, we've got this under control. That one missed touch by Peeves. Saigai probably had his ball kill off. He was probably looking at the boost, thinking to himself, okay, I've got no worries right here. Peeves has got this under control. When he missed touches it, he's not looking. That's a free net for large. He puts it away every day of the week. And now they're down by one. A minute and a half gone. Again, their fate is in their hands right here. Stockton looking for a great passing play. Peeves is going to cut that one off. Looking to increase the pace once more. But here, another open, and it's barely out. Large can't get the read either, and they dodge a bullet there. Moving down the other way, now pinched over towards center. Nobody's in position to make that play, but Sai Guy's going to try and return. Synthex for the shot. No, saved by Large. Dark and Large coming together to keep that one off their goal line. Excellent stuff from Stockton. A little bit unpredictable, but they do manage it. And something I want to say, uh, sure they were, um, they gave up the first goal, but they were playing, they were outplaying Stockton a lot in the first, what, minute, minute and a half. And I really liked what I saw. So honestly, if any of you just keeps up what they're doing, that pressure and trying to just keep those rotations clean, they should get a goal out of this. Just because of the fact that Stockton just, whenever they are getting, if they don't, get, if they get beat to the ball, any of you is right there to capitalize. And unfortunately, Saigai unable to put that into the open net. Oh, Synthex almost had a chance there to make up for that miss. No dice. As we pass the half, move back into the orange half of the field. Here's a shot. Maple Syrup! Oh, he gets that one through! It looked like the goal line was ready. Fortunately, could not get it away. 
And just another mistouch there. Um, it, again, NEU's held a lot of this pressure in this game, but just two mistouches, and they're down two. So they really have to press now as they're on match points. And obviously, if they lose this, they're out of the tournament. Tough stuff to deal with. Approaching the two minute marker right about now. NEU in a very big hole, regardless of the fact that it's only two goals against. Still a monumental task in terms of morale. Dunk there from Peeves will allow them to try and move forward. Psy guy up the side wall. Synthex quick to that one. Does win out in the 50-50. No boost left. Looking for a bump. Does find Dark. The dunk there from Peeves. Psy guy in the air. Shot towards the net. Dark. Oh, he's a little bit low, but he does manage to put it off to the corner. Tough stuff indeed, but Stockton keeping pace. And Stockton's just kind of returning. They're, they're stopping everything on the side of NEU. No matter whether it be a shot or a passing play, they're doing... But NEU's doing a very good job of trying to find each other in the midfield. And getting quality shots on. It's just better saves out of the side of Stockton. Is that... Almost goes in. And another counterattack here from Stockton. Yeah, lots of potential the other way there. Maple Syrup didn't put it on target. Which was probably more concerned with getting it away at that point. Realizing the threat. But very dangerous stuff for any of you. That was so risky having all of your people up like that. Now a shot towards the net. Maple Syrup couldn't put it on. A great bump to get large out of the way. They're still pushing here. But in the final minute, any has to break out of their own half and try and move it downfield. They can't be worrying about defense too much. And here's Synthex to lead the way. Off the side wall. Nobody's up for that one. It'll be Maple Syrup first to that ball. And you needed somebody in the air for that pass from large to dark. Peeves will they be there to shut it down. Final 30 seconds approaching. They have to score one with time remaining. Oh, Peeves, oh, a very good challenge there. Is Synthex there? No, he is not, but very good pressure right now. They have to score as what they're doing is just, they're just challenging everything right now. And he's unable to get, finish anything off though. And Stockton's just trying to waste time. Waste time, they're doing such a good job at the final 10 seconds. Take away Dark, there are too many players upfield. Saga with the last potential push. They need to go with time on the clock. Here's Peeves, but it's a zero seconds. And can you think of a worse way to end it than to score with, oh my goodness. You just needed one second on the clock. He could have kept the ball up on kickoff or something. But no luck. And that's, that really sucks. I wanted to see the two goal comeback, but. Stockton wins in four games here. Um, they will be just looking ahead in the bracket. Um, they will be playing the. They will be playing the University of Illinois, who we Monday. saw on oh, no. Monday night. Yeah. Oh boy, is right. Um, Good luck. Uh, <laughs> that's a whole. That's all we can say. Terminology. That's a whole new can of worms. That is gonna be a tough one. Um, yeah, but they did handle NEU pretty well. It was a closer series than what um, I think a lot of people were thinking. I knew it was going to be a pretty entertaining series that last game. It was unfortunate that Peeves scored with zero seconds um, as it made it 2-1. It was over at that point. But great showing for NEUB. Um, unfortunate to them, but congratulations to Stockton. You'll be moving on to your prizes playing Illinois. <laughs> you call that a prize? I call that a curse. My God. <laughs> to play Illinois, um, grand finalist in the in the CRL season uh, three bracket, or sorry, the, like the spring bracket. I don't, I don't think I count as season three. That's like season two spring. So two like, and a half. Whatever. Uh, season two point five. The, the spring bracket. They made it to the grand finals to play against Akron. If I'm not mistaken, that was a four two series. Yes. Right. So memory does serve. Uh, not not something that often happens, but you're in the quarterfinals, so uh, be happy that you made it there. Practice hard. You're, you're going to need it. You got Shock and Navy Striker and Tide Scraper on the other team. Very strong roster, but that's it for that series. 3-1 in favor of Stockton University. Congratulations to so the Ospreys. Again, moving on to the quarterfinals. Uh, we should be back with uh, matches next week. Hopefully on Monday we can get more of this wonderful playoff bracket done for you. We're looking forward to the end of it, obviously, but plenty of matches to come. That's it for us tonight. Uh, if you want to see some Dota 2, make sure to stick around. They'll be broadcasting right here on this channel, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, great stuff for MOBA watchers. I myself do not watch MOBA. I don't play MOBA. I'm horrible at MOBA. There's a reason why. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Uh, 
any closing any closing regards uh but before we sign off Mattel I don't have any shout outs shout outs to to anybody on the NUB team maybe um shout outs to uh Synthex Peeves and Sai uh, I love you guys um it was a good showing it was unfortunate that you guys couldn't come out on top but uh enjoyed casting you guys <laughs> Yes, indeed, we did. Well, that's going to be it for us for tonight. So we hope to see you next week for more matches. Until then, we'll see you. This has been the Collegiate Star League, and we're signing off.